Andreas Georgia here for MMA Plus at Tanko Fighting Championships, and I'm now joined by the man in the main event who faces Eden Newton, Brendan Loftin. How you doing, man? Just weighed in, and uh, there was a bit of a kerfuffle, if I can put it that way, after the weigh-ins. Yeah, this guy's a weirdo, isn't he? I mean, he doesn't even know. How, this is how professional he is. He doesn't even know how to do a weigh-in. I don't know if he's ever weighed in before, but you know, he's unprofessional. But I'm not asked because tomorrow night he has to fight me. At the end of the day, he can bring his entourage, do whatever he wants to do. Tomorrow night, he's going to lock the door, and he's on his own, isn't he? So we'll see. There's, there's been a, a major build-up to this event, and both you guys have been kind of spouting comments <coughs> back and forth over Twitter, over Facebook. It, it's had a mass, massive social following and a massive social build-up. Like, was this the first time, I know obviously you guys did the gloves are off, but was this the first time you've come face-to-face -face with him since then? Yeah, this is the first time I've seen him since all the shit he's been talking on Facebook as well. So, yeah, you know, he's been taking loads of steroids. I can tell his eyes are popping out of his head. Um, and, you know, his testosterone levels are through the roof. As TFC, we should start drug testing because he's definitely been on steroids for the last six weeks, I'm telling you now. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's see tomorrow night. He, he made a comment about you're just doing this to get in the UFC. Yeah. Um, like, wh where does that sit with you? Because, you know, there's a lot of people looking out, looking in, and they're looking at Eden's record and they yeah. think, you know, you're ahead of this. You just fought Tom Dukumwa, who's pound for pound one of the best bantamweights in the world. Yeah. You know, wh why take this fight? Um... There was not many fights on the table, to be honest. You know, um, there was a couple of fights at featherweight that really want to cut back down there. Lightweight's pretty taken up at the minute. You know, Dia Casey's just gone to the UFC. Stapes is busy. All these other guys are busy, like fights that I was looking for in the future. Um, and Eden Newton's screaming his head off for the fight. Just made sense. We're both from Manchester. You know, everyone loves a Manchester derby. And let's do it then. Let's, just, let's see. Mm. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. We're, we're, it's a big Manchester building, uh, Victoria Warehouse, you know, massive history here. And obviously two guys from the local area as well going to be streaming on the Sports Bible, the Lad Bible. Like, is this, you know, I know obviously you fought on Bambi, you fought on loads of different big events. But, you know, how does this one feel? Because this just feels like a bit different in, in a real good way. Yeah, it's totally different. I mean, it's a real Manchester-esque show. Um, even the, the Victoria Warehouse that we're in now and the way the Wayans went down. You know, uh, it's a proper northern show and uh, I'm looking forward to competing on it. I mean, uh, like you say, compared to Bama and stuff, Bama's more European and they bring a lot of different fighters in from around Europe and stuff. But this is Manchester, Manchester, Manchester. Mm. Bring the, you know, you had the other Irish guy and stuff here, but really it's a, it's a predominantly Manchester show and it's, uh, it's exciting, you know, it's a great fighting city. Yeah. And um, yeah, I know tomorrow the, the atmosphere is going to be electric in there. Yeah, you, you fought here before as well for Bama, I believe, as well. But this is the first Tanko show. Um, do you, do you, can you divulge any information about you know, Tanko potentially moving forward? I know that you know, you, you, your, your good buddy, K Moose, uh, he's dealing backstage on this one. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you can reveal? Um, moving forward, we're going to be putting on four shows a year. You know, uh, this is our first one. And you know, Tanko as a brand and as a, as, as a fighting show, it's going it's to take everything else out of the water. I'm telling you now, I mean, if you go inside the Victoria Warehouse and you look at the production levels, it's insane. It's something that UK MMA has not seen for a long time, if ever. So um, tomorrow night, you know, going live on the Lad Bible and the Sport Bible, it's going to millions of people. And, you know, we're going to put on a great show for the fans. The way in you stood there confidently, you know, there was a bit of a, a back and forth, but you are confident, you're looking good, you're, you know, you're on weight. Any predictions for tomorrow night? <laughs> I don't do predictions, but what I will say is I fight with my heart on my sleeve every time. Eden Newton's going to have to bring something very special because I fought a lot higher class than him. And I'll be taking this fight very serious, as you see. I'll be going there, I'll be implementing my game plan. And let's see if he's taught, let's see if he can back it up tomorrow. Let's see. We'll see tomorrow, won't we? Brendan, I really appreciate your time and best of luck tomorrow at the Tanker Fight Thank Championship. You very much. Always a pleasure.